Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm so excited about today's look. As you can see, I got a little experimental, a little dangerous. So I'm gonna show you guys, first of all, how to create a glitter cut crease. And then I was like, you know what? Like, I'm not, I'm not done yet. I wanna be super extra. So then I decided to make my own kind of Pat McGrath dupe, this fuchsia purpley like <laughs> lip sparkle look. I don't even know what to call it really, but I think it's really fun. And um, it took me a while to kind of, you know, harness the cut crease skills. So I'm so excited to just show you guys what it's all about. I did this look or a look similar to this on Snapchat yesterday. So if you're following me, you know what's up. I'll put my social media links up above if you guys want to go ahead and add me. So yeah, you know what? Let's just uh, do this. Also, ooh, don't forget, if you're new here, please subscribe and you know what? Just give this a big thumbs up because I worked my booty off for you guys for this one. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So first off, it's really, really, really important to always start with a primer because you really want this to last. I'm going in with my favorite. I've always used this. This is the Smash Box. <laughs> this is the Smash Box 24 Hour Eye Primer. Your Shadow will last all, all day. Now we wanna go ahead and set that with an eyeshadow that's basically the same color as your skin. I'm going to use Burlap from my Lorac Pro Palette. So also before we get started, um, since I already added my base, I wanna make sure that I don't get any eyeshadow on the bottom, so I'm going to go ahead and add translucent setting powder under there to just catch any fallout. So first off, I'm gonna go in with a black eyeshadow color, and I wanna go in with my smaller, if you can see it right here, this precise blending tool, and that's gonna really help me get that defined line. And so when you go in, it's really important to angle your brush in a downward motion, and look forward, if you have hooded eyes like me, you want to make sure that you draw the line above your crease. Because if you draw it right in that crease, it's totally gonna to disappear and nobody's going to be able to see all the hard work you put in. Now you wanna go ahead and make sure you take a clean blending brush. And I'm gonna use the Sephora Pro number 15. And again, angling that downward so that we can really buff this out. And this look is totally all about how you blend. Now we're gonna go ahead and add a brown shadow over that to just kind of soften the look up. So our goal here is you really wanna build like a nice gradient from that black color to brown to a lighter brown. Okay, so now we've got that nice and defined, got a nice little gradient, and I'm going to add some light brown shadow to the top. Okay, so now it's my favorite part. It's time to cut the crease. So even though the line looks nice already, we're going to make sure it's even sharper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Sephora Pro Angled Lip Brush, and I love it because it's got this little angle here. And then I'm going to dip it into my paint pot in the color ground work. Now, this is really important. In order to make this brush easier to work with, I like to spray it with Fix Plus. Kind of just wave it around. And now I'm gonna dip that in and then I'll show you guys how I cut it. Okay, so now that that's all set, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Naked palette, and I'm gonna pick a pinky tone. I'm gonna to go into Toasted with my flat brush. And I've already dipped it in Fix Plus to make it just look more vibrant. 
All right, so that's the shape, and although this looks gorgeous enough, I really wanna go ahead and make that even more defined. So I'm gonna go over that black line just to create more of a contrast. So now it's time for some glitter glue, and I'm going to be using uh, my glue from Lit Cosmetics. It's really strong. You know, it's easy to take off when you need it to be, but it does last. So it's important to remember to keep looking down until your glitter glue dries. Because if you look up, then it might get caught in your crease and you don't want to mess up what you already did. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how I do my lips. And I'm starting off with the Tartiste Lip Liner in Hangry. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with this Tarte Lip Paint. Okay, so now it's time to be super, super extra. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my little uh, glitter glue here and I'm going to dip my brush in it so now I've coated my little brush here and I'm just going to paint this all over my lips I'm going to go in sections and then cover it with glitter All right, guys, so that's it for this look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun experimenting and creating this look. So let me know down below in the comments what you think of it and if you guys want me to do more kind of like dramatic looks. If you have any suggestions, I'm all ears. All right, I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.